Hey guys, welcome to Cook with Castline. Okay, so what I'm doing right now, I've got green beans and I'm doing what's called top and tail, taking about a quarter of an inch of each side, less. Because what I'm cooking today as a side dish for tonight's meal is called in Arabic Lubye Bzeit, which literally translates to green beans in oil, olive oil to be more precise. It's a delicious traditional Lebanese side dish, but it can also be eaten as I did as a child, as a main, as a main dish served at room temperature. This is a very delicious tasty dish. It was literally one of my favorite dishes growing up still is now to cook this for you guys and uh, i'm just gonna do this for another 20 minutes or so and then we're gonna head over to the kitchen get the cast iron fry pan on the stove and uh we're gonna cook this this this, this, this delicious dish see you guys right. soon now, like most things i like to post on this page very simple recipe this is probably the simplest now i've got the cast iron fry pan hot and ready on the stove and i've roughly chopped three medium white onions. So I'm gonna begin the cooking process with sauteing these onions for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now I just wanna mention that more than anything, sauteing onions in a cast iron is probably my favorite thing because just putting raw onions with nothing, a bit of oil in the pan, the way it cooks, it, it, it caramelizes. It cooks so slowly and it's like one of my favorite things to do because you won't get it in any other pan and, and, and you see what I mean. So these onions, like I said, they're uh, caramelizing perfectly. Uh, smells amazing, I love the smell of onions. So just another five or so minutes and we'll be ready to put the green beans in with the spices. Onions are ready. It's time to add the beans. I'm gonna add the beans in, then we're gonna add the spices. Now obviously the beans will shrink. So just give it a bit of a stir around, let it get. Let's put some spices. What I've got here is called Lebanese seven spice. It's, uh, it's, it's in, in Arabic and Lebanese, it's called baharat. And it's, you know, your uh, traditional Lebanese spice that's found in a lot of Lebanese dishes. You can find this in Middle Eastern supermarkets. Uh, for those of you that keep kosher, I may, you can make your own like I have. Um, Google has many uh, links that show you how to make it. It's, it's got 10 different spices on it, in it, and um, very simple. So just follow those guides and you can make your own seven Lebanese spice, which is the best. So two te teaspoons of this. Teaspoon sea salt. Stir it all around so the spices go all about. Now, I'll continue stirring like this uh, just until the green beans kind of shrink a little bit. Um, and then I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Now it's a cast iron, so um, if you're not using a cast iron, have it on medium heat. For the cast iron, because all the heat is in there already, I don't need to have it on medium heat or any higher heat. So I've got mine on low to medium. And that's what I'm gonna leave it at. About two thirds a cup of oil. Um, I'm gonna drench all of this in oil. You can add more if you like, the more the better because oil is what, is what makes this dish what it is. So I've added that and then I'm gonna stir it around. Try to get the, bean, the, the onions up over the beans. And um, and add more oil, I'm gonna add more oil. 
before I let it simmer, before I cover and let it simmer. It's coming along. It's looking beautiful. I'm gonna cover it and let it simmer 40, 45 minutes. In the cast iron, low to medium heat. And then we'll be done. And that's lubyib zeit, it smells amazing. Uh, green beans in olive oil, cooked in the cast iron. Now, the best way to have this, as I mentioned earlier, is at room temperature. And this lasts for a couple of days, put it in the fridge, um, or just leave it out, wrapped in glad wrap. Um, so, that's all it is. That's the color you want, you wanna get a um, an olive, Brownie color. It's really smelling like my mother's house. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you get to try this recipe. Very simple. Um, like this video, share it, head over to Instagram, follow Cook with Cast Iron. It's cooking the original way. And remember, as always, cook, clean, season, repeat. I'll see you guys in the next video.